Okay. How about to them donuts? I'll make you a special price. Two for a nickel? Okay. I never was so cold in my life. Do you want to see work in a nightclub? Sure. I'm a chanteuse. I call myself Cherie. That's French, isn't it? I don't know. I just seen the name once, and it kind of appealed to me. It's French, it means dear one. Is that all the name you use? Sure. That's all the name you need. Like Hildegard. She's a chanteuse, too. <laughs> chanteuse means singer. How come you know so much? <laughs> I'm taking French in high school. Oh, I never got as far as high school. See, I was the oldest girl left in the family after my sister Violet ran away. I had two more sisters, both of them younger than me, and five brothers, Master Mulder. This ain't me. Anyway, I had to quit school when I was 12 in order to stay home and take care of the house and do the cooking. I'm a real good cook. Honest. Did you study singing? Uh-uh. I just picked it up, listened to the radio, see movies, trying to put over my songs as good as them people did. How did you get started in the nightclub? I won an amateur contest down in Joplin, Missouri. I won second prize there. A couple of boys, they won first prize. They juggled milk bottles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's fair to you to make an artistic performer compete with jugglers and not throwers and people like that. <laughs> no, I don't. Anyway, second prize is good enough to get me to Kansas City to enter the contest there. It was a real big contest, and I didn't win any prize at all, but it got me the job at the Blue Dragon. Madame. <laughs> Where is that locket, Bob? I don't understand anything you say. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you say it. <laughs> well, I understand everything I say. I privately despise the way I say it. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I had a very nice friend once that recited poetry. Whatever happened to him? I don't know. He left town. His name was Mr. Everett Rudbaker. He sold second-hand cars on the corner of 8th and why I thought he had a lovely Pontiac car with a top down. He talked nice, but I guess he really wasn't any nicer than any of the others. The others? Well, where I work at the Blue Dragon nightclub, you meet quite a few men. You ever hear of it? No, and I regret the fact deeply. <laughs> You're just saying that an educated man like you wouldn't have no use for the Blue Dragon. I wouldn't. Give me about three hamburgers. Three? How do you want them? I want them raw. <laughs> it's the only way to eat them raw. With a thick slice of onion and some pickle Well, if you're sure you're not joking. Just a minute, miss. That ain't all. I'd also like me some ham and eggs and some potato salad and a piece of pie. I ain't so particular what kind of pie it is. Someone's got that meringue on top of it. We have lemon and chocolate. They both have meringue. Lemon and chocolate? I like them both. I don't know which I'd rather have. I have them both, miss. Both? Yep. Set a quart of milk beside me. I'm still growing boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which picks up my appetite. That's all you have is just a measly donut? I ain't hungry. Why not? <laughs> I just ate. All right, Pete. Well, I ain't. <laughs> well, wait till I get you up to the shoes queue. I'll fatten you up. Mm. Bet in two weeks' time, you won't recognize yourself. Doggone, I look at you. Just the way you are. You got the cutest little piece I ever did see. Man, well, I walk to that nightclub place and hear you singing my favorite song, standing before that orchestra. I said to myself, then and there, she's for me. I ain't going to leave this place without her. Now I've got you, not sure. Oh, well, there's people here that look at me. What if they are? It's no crime showing affection, is it? Especially when we're going to get married. It's no crime I ever heard. Oh, for crying out loud, you leave me be. If I do say so myself, I'm pretty good looking. If I get spruced up, I'm about as good looking a fella gal I hope to see. Who oh, you are, though. <laughs> oh, in the hell, barn damnation! Why don't you go back to the ranch with me? That's all good thing, wouldn't it? But I don't. <laughs> so I just can't see myself going to some godforsaken ranch in Montana.
man, why don't you know him but him? A lot of cows. If you didn't love me, would you offer long? I don't know why I keep expecting myself to fall in love with someone, but I do. Cheer! Yeah. I've been talking with my buddy and he, he thinks I'm virgin enough for the two of us. Huh? Did Virgil say that? Yeah. I like you like you are, Cherry, so I don't care how you got that way. Jerry, it's awful hard for a fellow after he's been turned down once to get up enough guts to try again. You don't need guts, Bob. I don't. It's the last thing in the world you need. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just don't have none now, so I'll just have to say what I feel in my heart. Yeah. I still wish he was going back to the ranch with me. More than anything I know. You do? Yeah, I do. Well, I'd go anywhere in the world if you never thought. Anywhere at all. You would? You would?